from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A, a mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Toys and Tunes. I'm your host, Kelly. Here with a brand new episode on Mattel's newest club, Club Lion Force, and the debut of the Red Lion. Like all the other Mattel products, it does come in the white mailer box, letting you know that you are getting Lance and the Red Lion. So let's open up the white mailer package and see what's inside. First, let's take a look at the lion. He comes in a clear see-through box where you can see his weapon up here and get a nice detail look of how the red lion was sculpted. The background looks like the lava pools where of course, the red lion stays when not in use to recharge. The figure comes in this beautiful red packaging with a window box showing you both the figure, the second head, the key, and inside when you open it up, you're going to find the first piece of the blazing sword. So, let's start looking at Lance first. He stands in the three and three quarter inch scale. His head moves left and right, not up and down, it's not on a ball joint. Our, the shoulders are on ball joints. His elbow does bend up and down. His hips do go back and forth, and they do spread out, and his knee bends. He does have some waist articulation, so he's a fairly well-articulated figure for the three and three-quarter inch scale. The head does remove very easily. As you can see, it is on a ball joint, so you can put the head with the helmet on. Both heads are cartoon accurate according to the Go Lions animated series and the Voltron series. I'll get into that a little later on because there are a few slight differences and it's basically in the scripts. The only thing I wish that Mattel would have given us is a pistol that wasn't sculpted into the holster. Would be nice to get him to hold something. One fist is open and one is closed. Very classic of the Young Justice League figures. He also comes with this key, very similar to the key used in the classic Voltron series. You know, they would have it on the side, take it off to activate the lions. When it was being worn, it was separate. And when it went into the lions, it actually formed the key. This doubles as a stand to hold up your figure. So you can get them in some pretty good poses. The last thing that comes with the figure is the first part of the blazing sword. Just looking at this, 
you can see how big Mattel plans on making this version of Voltron. If you haven't heard, he's going to be 23 inches tall. So it's going to look amazing. On the back, you have this little nub. And I'll come back to that in a few minutes. But here it is. The Red Lion. The first of our Lion Force figures. Tune accurate. First thing I want to note, on most of the early Voltrons, you would see a number two here, not in the cartoon. So Mattel did not put it on. The face, even though it's a simple looking face, the sculpt is amazing. The detail work, you can tell the eyes are inset. It's all nicely painted. The jaw actually locks in nicely on the inside. You see that little round peg hole? Well, that's so uh, the blazing sword, when Voltron is formed, would go in, pushes in, you can close the bottom. And Red Lion will not lose your sword. His head does turn a full 360 so you can get him in that classic blazing pose when he goes up. And it, and this does fit nice and secure. Takes a little strength getting it out. Also, you can hear the clicks, so you know it's not going to lose its position. The body. We have our four legs. Very poseable. They do snap. The back legs can go forward and back, nice range of motion, but at the knee, it can only bend backwards. And the paws do go front and back. When you're converting it into Voltron, it fairly snaps in easily, but as you can see, the back legs don't always hold their position. <laughs> Putting up one, I always get the other one coming down. The front legs, we can get it in the classic pose of it flying through space, like in the, in the intro. They do fold up. And the same problem with the front lights. I like that it, Mattel tried to give us an action feature. But I wish in this case they didn't. Because these legs, when you put them into the vault position of the arm, sometimes say, sometimes don't. He does, as you can see, have a joint in the middle. This is the only part that's really not 100% tune accurate, but you know, you can't always get 100% and get articulation. When he becomes the giant robot, it does click so you can see how his arm's going to form. You also have on the back, the peg that will go into the black lion. See? The legs don't want to stay. That is something Mattel needs to work on with the other lions. Hopefully, it's only a thing with the red lion.
told you. I like that they wanted to give us an action feature, but I wish they didn't. The tail does fold up nicely, and this is the one feature that works on mine correctly, that when it's in robot mode, it stays into the little compartment. And when you're ready, it does just pop out. That works beautifully. The legs from robot mode, which I have it in now, even though my one leg does not want to cooperate. See? Doesn't want to cooperate. There's a button on the back right above, right above. The peg that goes into the black line you press it both legs pop out if you didn't catch it so we have the button and they press forward the front ones also have an action mechanism the buttons located on the underside you press it and they both pop out and then you just can position the pause the way you want it now remember I said some that the key has a special function too well the key opens up your lion by pushing down it opens up the lion mid drift where we can see the cop pick inside has stickers so you can see that it is a cop pick trying to resemble what it did look like in the 80s show and Lance Mohawk and all can fit in there nicely They even gave him a little armrest so he could fit in and look comfy. I like to keep my spare head in there. This way I don't lose any of my Lance pieces. And closes up nicely. One thing that does not go wrong with the Red Lion, you're not going to lose Lance when he's in there. And it also comes with an accessory. The Red Lion comes with its red knife. It has two holes on the bottom, which plug into the teeth. The top lets you know it was made in China. I wish Mattel would have put that on the bottom. Because I really don't want to see made in China coming at me when it's in the lion and he does have his blade that he's been known for but overall very cool now I mentioned earlier he wasn't always part of Voltron Voltron was a foreign import also. Originally, he was part of Beast King Go Lion, a Japanese storyline about five explorers. Lance, whose name I know I'm going to butcher, but his name originally was Ismu Kawugain. His nickname was Moody. But coming over to America, you know us, we have to change everything. Lance was the second in command in the cartoon series after the Swen incident. 
more on that when we get to this one figure. He still piloted the Red Lion. He had a crush on Adora. Hmm. Some things don't change, even in the new series. He's still a hothead. Know it all. Show off. And tries to get the attention of uh, Alora. Oh, sweet. It's sickening, if you ask me. And if you ask me, I gotta say, I don't believe a word of it. You are. Big Blue, I'm the lifeguard on duty here, and you've already broken five of my seven beach rules. <laughs> So hostile, Blue. I'm fine, and I'm going after Blue. What?